at Billings Central Catholic High School. Um, and I'm super grateful to Dr. Byron for inviting me to be here today. I'm super excited about the work that Montana Health Professionals for Healthy Climate is doing. It really intersects with my interests. Um, I'm the president of Central's Environmental Club and also a member of our school's host of Youth Health Professionals chapter. So this lines really uh, well with our group and also shout out to everyone who's here from Central as part of Environmental Club. Uh, so Dr. Byron asked me to speak here today on uh, what I'd like to hear from my doctor uh, on the issue of climate. Uh, so I gave that some thought and one thing really struck out to me. This is becoming normal now to have longer and longer fire seasons. We have fire seasons starting in May as we've seen fires uh, up in Alberta and throughout Canada. Their smoke drifting down into Montana and into other states. And we're seeing fire, fire season also last longer, uh, like we saw with the fire back in December of 2021 that burned through Denton, Montana. So back to Dr. Byron's question, what would I like to hear doctors ask, or what would I like to hear from doctors? And I think one thing that would be great uh, to start with just from my personal experience is kind of starting some conversations, especially for high schoolers and middle schoolers, for student athletes around, around the effects of climate and how it's affecting what we're doing, right? So whether that's extreme heat as we start sports up in August, or whether that's poor air quality and wildfire smoke uh, that continues to get worse as a result of climate change, I think that it's really great to start asking, you know, how is extreme heat affecting you during practice or competition? Or do you ever notice any adverse effects of wildfire smoke as you're competing or as you're practicing? We're now experiencing the effects of climate change that we knew for a long time was going to come. So that's something that we're going to have to deal with, and that's something that I'm really grateful to everyone here who's working in healthcare, helping to address and caring about this issue and bringing new voices to this conversation.